but no one has been better than the 51 of Kyle Busch. It has been amazing, and he gets the white flag, one lap remaining. Less than a mile and a half left for the Las Vegas native. Cut his teeth at the bull ring over here on this property. He won here in the Monster Energy Cup Series back in 2009. He won Xfinity 2016. He won this race last year. And he's going to go back to back. Kyle Busch is going to do it in Las Vegas again. Winning at home. Kyle victorious in Vegas. Consecutive wins for Kyle Busch and his crew chief Rudy Fugel. 53 for his career in the truck series. Adding to his record. And Mike, I'm with you. You know, they say, hey, we want to be able to beat the best. You know, we want to be able to race against the best and beat the best. But after the beatings that Kyle's issued the last two weeks, I think they might want to reevaluate that stance. We know we're going to get 18 <laughs> chances because there's 18 chances and races that he's not going to run. Yeah, but I still, I mean, think back in the day when cup drivers, since the beginning of time, would go down and run the Bush Series. Oh, yeah. And to get to mix it up with Dale Earnhardt and Harry Gant, I mean, that was an honor. Sure I was. think these truckers should be thankful that they get the chance to put their talents up against the best trucker ever. DW back in the day running for his own Bush Series team. Kyle's had a lot of practice at this act. Allen's with his crew chief. Winning crew chief, Rudy Fugel. Your driver came on the radio. It's less than 10 to go. It just says vibration. Were you nervous? No, that's normal for him. It's, uh, it could mean a number of things. So, um, anyways... We really good size of Tundra. Um, the guys did a great job. KBM has worked really hard this winter. Um, we've, we've improved our trucks. Um, it's, it's about trying to get these these kids where we got our trucks clear so these kids can compete. And uh, we're, we're not there yet, clearly, um, but we're, we're close. Uh, Harrison and Todd both had better races than last week. Um, and we're, we're trying to get this thing ready for Christian at the end of the year. Um, so just learning with Kyle, trying to get the trucks better. And um, it's going good. It was a fun win. Back-to-back -back wins for Kyle Busch and Rudy Fuel, guys. Well, there will be some that will be critical of Kyle coming down to the truck series. I mean, it's what we hear every single time, but uh, he's playing by the rules. He's allowed to run five races. He comes down and some he wins, some he doesn't, but he put on. Kyle Busch just adding to the win total, the title he already has of career win totals here in the truck series. Kyle, you always make this look easy, but what was your biggest challenge tonight? Um, tight, you know, just uh, we fought it in practice a little bit. We worked on it an awful lot to make it better. And Rudy and these guys did an amazing job on this Cessna Tundra. It was, um, it was really, really fast. Um, just keep, kept working on it all night long. Every pit stop we come in, we worked on it. So I certainly want to thank uh, Toyota and TRD, Rowdy Manufacturing, KBM, everybody at the shop. They do an amazing job. They build really fast Tundras. So um, thank Monster Energy, uh, Incredible Bank, uh, Black Clover, DBX Sunglasses, of course, the fans. It's cool to win here in your hometown and being in Las Vegas and starting off a triple weekend. Hopefully we can keep it going. I was going to say, I don't want to put too much pressure on you, but you said the hardest part about doing the triple is winning the first race. What do you got for the rest of the weekend? Well, uh, I think the hardest one's going to be the second one. <laughs> I don't know, but we obviously had a, a really fast truck tonight and Rudy made it uh, easier for me, but uh, we worked really hard on this thing to get it there. You know, we didn't start great in practice, but overall, um, proud to be a victory lane, proud to have a little man with me, and, um, you know, we'll celebrate here hopefully again tomorrow. Another home win for Kyle Busch. Brexton's excited about it, as well he should be. Let's go to Hermie. Well, Matt, this looked like the 80s.